Nigeria's Vice President Yemi Oshimbaja says judicious implementation of existing laws are required to tackle the rising trend of violence against women and children in the country. Oshimbaja disclosed this at the opening of a workshop on war against abuse in Nigeria. Abiola Oluwole has more presented from our studios. This workshop on war against abuse in Nigeria was organized by the office of the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, through a pet project, Future Assured. Stakeholders across the board converged on the venue to discuss ways of involving concrete solutions to challenge posed by all kinds of abuse in Nigeria. Declaring the workshop open, Vice President Yemi Oshibaju opted on the need for Nigerians to take proactive measures against all forms of abuse. Now this attention is important and must never be allowed to wait. By keeping the limelight on the scenarios of abuse, we put ourselves in a much stronger position to fully appreciate and successfully tackle this shape. It's heartwarming to note that around this time every year, the world itself devotes 16 days from November the 25th, the International Day of the Elimination of Violence Against Women. As a government, under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari, we responded to these needs by way of effective legislations and advocacy to check the rising cases of violence against women and children. According to the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, and vice president, Dolapo Shibajo, ensuring a stiff punishment against abusers will deepen the war against the scourge in the country. Any case of violence or abuse against humanity immediately, and we hope that the police will do its best to make sure that the arrest is made and then taken to the court for proper judgment. Just by your presence, even without saying a word, this gathering by education speaks volumes. We hereby declare with one mind and with one voice war against abuse in Nigeria. Other speakers at the event emphasized the need for government at all levels to ensure a robust legal framework to intensify the fight against abuse. To bring them together, it shows that whatever policy decision that is arrived at today it remains to be implemented at the various states of the Federation so that we can have some positive impact on the implementation of the laws that relates to the issue of discourse, which is abuse on uh, women and children. We in the National Assembly are complementing her efforts and the efforts of the government, uh, we have passed all the necessary laws, not all, but some, the Violence Against Persons Act. Uh, we, uh, we have also passed the Child Protection Agency Act, which is an act to create um, an agency to protect the rights of children and enforce all their rights. We are trying to we look into the, the violent affected persons already. Like right now we have the one-stop uh, center where all the abused uh, persons are being rehabilitated. Analysts are hopeful that the work will assist in the fight against the abuse of women and minors in the country. Mm -hmm.